Okay, honest question. Do you think that Avengers can actually come back from this? Or do you think it's just going to be Anthem Nexted? Anthem Nexted. Well, some people really want this game to work. They're hoping that it comes back. Attention all fairy tale things. But with such an amazing launch, and of course, I'm not being sarcastic. I would never be sarcastic on Layman Gaming. With such an amazing launch, I would have never thought in my wildest dreams that we would start seeing higher execs and higher devs in the Avengers development team start leaving. Especially when we look at the player counts on Steam charts, you can see how high the player count really is. You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, no, 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 no. Buzz look an alien! Where? Ah! So this story actually broke a couple of days ago, but I didn't get a chance to cover it. So I thought I'd cover it today because you guys deserve it. This is for you. Definitely not for the algorithm, of course. The creative director of Avengers has left the company, but the big question is, does that spell trouble for the future of the Avengers game? What do you guys think? You look like you've got something to say. Do you? Yes, I certainly do. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Okay, so Avengers came out, of course, on the 14th of August to a very mixed reception. That mixed reception really just became a unanimous, no one liked this game. <laughs> the bugs, the glitches, problem after problem. And after a while, it was kind of a hollow experience after you got past the whole superhero Avengers thing. After five or ten hours, like myself, you really start getting over it. Because for a lot of people, it just didn't execute itself in the way that many would have liked an Avengers game to really be. And in November last year, Square Enix did announce that it cost them millions, but they had hoped that they would make that money back in the long run. But we look at the Steam charts, back on the Steam charts, I don't think that's really gonna happen in terms of them actually making their money back and this game actually beginning to be profitable. Any change, mister? Absolutely! But look, they partnered with so many different brands and so many different companies. I really thought that this <laughs> mid-lease would have broken even. Because the amount of companies they just slapped an Iron Man logo on the top of Intel, Verizon, Thick Boy, sorry, I mean Virgin, and also Five Gum. In a bit of news that the Avengers community is viewing as not great, Sean Eskag, the writer and creative director of Avengers Campaign, has left to return to his old place of employment, Naughty Dog. Sean went to Twitter to say, happy to be back with the dogs. Naughty Dog retweeted with a welcoming message, of course, saying, welcome back at Sean Eskag. Excited to have you back at the studio and looking forward to doing awesome stuff together. I regret to announce this is the end. I'm going now. Now look, this doesn't look good on a lot of fronts. Now, some may say, of course, that Sean's job was, as a writer and creative director, to deliver, you know, a rich, story-driven campaign, and now the game's gone into a live service model that's moving away from that initial stage of the game's development. But here's the thing, right? Avengers is all about that. Now, we're not here to make direct comparisons, of course, to the movies, but people have loved so much of what Avengers is based on the movies and yes, the comics before. And if we were to agree, of course, that not all movies can be translated directly to games, we understand that. At the core of it, we still want a story-driven experience when it comes to superheroes with those blockbuster moments that make you feel like Iron Man. So if that is the reason he left, that's the exact thing we need more of in terms of more writing to be done in the end game to keep us engaged with these characters and keep it interesting. Aside from the blockbuster and explosive moments, we've really loved the Avengers movies and characters. Yes, for the explosions and all that, that's all fun. But what really keeps us in Avengers Endgame for four and a half hours or however long that movie was, was those characters and those characters' journeys and that emotional connection that we all felt with them. And by the way, he has said before he left that Avengers is in good hands. All right, guys, I'm off. Thanks so much. Avengers in good hands. Uh, I'm just going to run for the door now. Uh, don't worry. Woo, they got plenty of stuff coming for Avengers. I just uh, got to go. Uh, don't call. I'm very busy. Uh, woo. Avengers in good hands. But all jokes aside, look, I don't 
blame him. Regardless of his reasons, of course, we don't know exactly why he's going back to Naughty Dog. But the bottom line is, it has been financially, especially for Square Enix, not a success. Creatively, the team may also be feeling in terms of the population that they currently have on the game and the community that they've built over time. It hasn't built to the size that they probably wanted. Maybe he just needs a fresh start. By fresh start, I mean going back to his old job, but regardless, maybe he just needs a fresh start. Eskag was previously game director and writer for the well-received Uncharted Lost Legacy, and with rumors that Naughty Dog may be returning to that franchise without Nathan Drake, you can see how him joining back up again would make a lot of sense. And as I've said before, when we start seeing creative directors or higher up devs leaving companies, sometimes it's a red flag. Jonathan Warner when he left Anthem, Chris Lee when he left Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite isn't even out yet, but we've spoken about that recently. They pushed back development and they also missed the Xbox Series X console launch. This usually can spell red flags, also, Jeff Kaplan recently leaving Overwatch 2. That's his magnum opus. He just left all of a sudden. The game's probably coming out in the next 12 to 18 months with no actual reason for leaving. All we've seen is a very lengthy development process with Overwatch 2 and a very underwhelming showcase at BlizzCon this year has got a lot of people worried. All I'm saying is sometimes when there's smoke, there's fire and there's a lot of games that have also gone down this road of creative directors leaving or higher ups leaving, and it usually spells trouble. So maybe this makes sense too. Maybe he's just looked at the future of Avengers, the game, and thought that there's just not enough life in it. It's just too hard, he just wants to move on. And without real clarification as to why he's gone back to Naughty Dog, all we can do is really just try and figure out what the clues we have. But the big thing, of course, is all the people that are still playing the game, back to the Steam charts, all of all the people that are still playing this game, I, saw, I feel sorry for all seven of you. But guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. Love, appreciate you. It's only a matter of time, I think, before Avengers is Anthem Nexted. You've heard it here first. You've heard it here many times now, but you've heard it again first. See you guys next time. Lemon out.